What's going on, peeps? Welcome back once again to another episode of Man Eater. This is episode three. All right. Let's get a quest on the board. Grouper Dynamics, kill 10 groupers. Man, they're having us kill a lot of fish lately, huh? All right, where's this at? That is, oh, oh, so tempting. We can do birds of passage, kill 10 humans. Let's go ahead and do it, why not? What's up, people? What is going I feel like it's glitched. <laughs> that was awkward. We got the sheriff. He's not looking too happy. That alligator's trying to eat us, too. What are these guys even doing out here, man? <laughs> it's so brutal. Oh, it's an albino. It's a level 13. Level 13 albino alligator, baby. Let's, ca let's carry her into the water. Leave me alone! I'm just trying to eat some humans! There's plenty to go around, guys. Plenty to go around. Shark hunters kill for the same reason we all do. To feel Oh crap, I'm being hunted. I gotta kill one more human. Got him! I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying. We're level 7, baby. Level 7. Get the hell out of here, shall we? Alright, there's a license plate. Should be able to get that. I'm pretty big now. <laughs> that was so weird. All right, consume five humans. Dixie Mafia Disposal Service. Got a landmark as well. I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. We got dead bodies. <laughs> so the Mafia's been killing people? Giving, giving them concrete shoes? Boys, want some of this? Yeah, that's what happens, boy. Exactly. I wouldn't know him from Adam. If he kill another fisherman, that's between them and him. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Can we get in here? Got another collectible. Where did we come out at? Oh, we came out right here? What the? Many places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> catfish deaths in uh, <laughs> in a water park. That's that's new. All right, so we got to find our way over this direction. Okay, here we go. Crap, he's out. Of course there's alligators. There's three of them? Jeez. Shark's life expectancy is at half, which is 
is a shame because we're all hoping for a second season. <laughs> this reality TV stuff is, is, is too good, man. Oh, he's got me, he's got me. I'm just eating everything, baby. Yeah, one at a time, really not too hard, but when you're doing four at a time, it's a different story. Alright, we got him. All right, looks like we're doing a Apex Predator mission. Ooh, Barracudas. The Barracuda, a potent threat on its own, even more so when hunting in packs. Objective, kill the Apex. Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Almost got him. Beautiful baby. Whew. All right. <laughs> that was a little nuts. Ooh, I could upgrade this. All right, if we do bioelectric teeth tier three, it's going to upgrade from 4 damage to 6 damage, and from 2.5 meters to 3 meters. Hmm. You know, let's go ahead and do it. Why the hell not? Whoa, the needle tooth nightmare. The Barracuda. Wanna go, boy? Want some of this? He's a level 10. Alligators were a level 8, if that gives you any perspective. I gotta dodge a lot, probably. Dude, he's so fast. Woo! He's a squirrely one. Got some good hits. One must be quick to dodge the savage slash of the Barracudas under. It's pretty easy to dodge, actually. Ooh, he, he he actually dodged me. Whoa. Okay, I'm hurt a little bit. Got him. Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's I did. true. I know, you told me that already, buddy. Alright, we got the Bone Evolution, which sets added or which set adds damage resistance and is most effective for boat combat. Defeat other Apex Predators to collect the whole set. Yummy. So, I guess we can't use the evolution at the moment. Oh, so it's a tooth one. You can either do bioelectric teeth or you can do bone teeth. Okay, I thought it was going to be like bone for your body. So it says the bone teeth evolution allows you to rend steel and hold on to the slipperiest prey. 
It does a plus 5% thrash damage and plus 12% boat bite damage bonus. Okay, so that's going to come in handy later on. I don't think we're ready for that anyway. Man, if you look at the right side of the screen, look at all the look at how low we are right now. We have so long to go. All right. Let's check out some more logs, shall we? We got one more story mission called What a Dump. A school of barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Hey, we got a human. What are you doing just hanging out in toxic water, buddy? <laughs> We're just holding on to him. I guess he I guess he drowned. Here it is. It's a level eight. We just killed the apex, and that thing was no problem. So, Hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Jeez, what is happening? That was crazy. Oh, yeah, baby. That was insane. Staying in the membrane. All right, what are we doing now? Looks like we don't have any active story missions, so we're just going to go around and uh, have some fun, I suppose. All right, beat a dead horse. Dead horse monument me memorializes the deaths of 146 horses who died drinking from the lake befouled by Port Clovis's first settlers. Consume 10 humans. Dead horse lake should be embarrassing, right? Yeah. But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. It's got to be the best at something. Sure do, buddy. You sure do, buddy. All right, where are you at, buddy? 230 meters away. I'm coming for you. Soon there's going to be a new memorial for the 10 humans that I shall consume. Oh, you unsuspecting fools. <laughs> Spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty food. Oh, we got a fat one. Woo! <laughs> so stupid, man. Having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. Dead horse legs should be embarrassing, right? Got him. Port Clovis to put up a monument. Gotta do the best of something. Can't catch me. Are good. I wonder if they can get you really far down here. Probably not, right? Alright, what else is on the dinner menu for today? Hungry, hungry for hobos? So Pete pays these hobos to stay on Shark Watch, a nice respite from their typical work of fence painting and pea picking. Objective consume eight hobos. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. Ooh. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. That's a deep cut to Kyle, man. 
I don't know the if powers hobos... of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Oh, really? I was gonna say, I don't know if hobos are really the best at diet. They're probably on drugs and mostly made of alcohol. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. All depth. It's a shanty town. You guys ready for this? Not the best meat, but it'll do. Got two of them. It's best practice never to slather yourself in fish entrails immediately before swimming. You guys were supposed to be watching for sharks. You're slacking off. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. Didn't look like That's it. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. No doubt about it. There's a lot. There's a lot of, a lot of dudes up there. I sure could. Let's right, take a little gander out the map again, y'all. Where are we at? We are right down here. All right. What else is on the menu? What do we got going on, baby? We got six out of ten landmarks. Not too bad. 4 out of 14 caches, not very good. 4 out of 10 uh, license plate collectibles. We could take a bite out of organized crime. A patrol boat ensures that the Dixie Mafia compound is kept safe from the feds or an attack from other more legitimate mafias. Destroy the target, zero of one. Taking a bite out of crime, baby. Shit. Pack it in, fellas. You want some of this boy? Mobsters didn't stand a chance. Where you going? Where you going, pal? <laughs> Look at that bite. Ferocious. Beautiful. Cleaning up these waters, one mafia member at a time. Alright, we got nuclear option. While radiation levels here are still dangerously unsafe, quotation marks, this retired nuclear plant is one of the city's few landmarks of note. Objective, destroy the target. Oh, we got a landmark. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. <laughs> 16 years. Totally a good use of time. Totally. Totally. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> Alright. We got a little tour boat coming. And you're dead. Because of the smaller incidence rate of boat attacks, dude, boat everybody's got guns. They have sort of immunity from shark attacks, but they'd be wrong. They'd be wrong. They'd be dead wrong. Oh yeah. No. 
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakiwaka. Requires adult. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. There's no way I can get that right now. You gotta be such a high level to, to jump that high? That's crazy! <laughs> Anyway, guys, looks like that is going to be it for another episode of Man Eater. Hope you guys enjoyed the violence. I know I did. Anyway, guys, if you did, a thumbs up and a subscription would be mucho excelente. And I will see you fine folks in the next bloody and violence episode.